Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Indian Reservation. And if you want to kind of match the, the Paul Revere and the Raiders version, you capo on 4th fret. And if you're kind of digging on, on the Don Farden version, then you'd end up capoing on 3rd fret to kind of match that. We're going to start off in root position. And we start off on an A minor chord for our intro, and we play A minor. First finger gives the B on the 1st fret, 2nd finger on the D string 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the G string 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really sad. Now while you're on A minors, it can be kind of cool to lift off the third finger and make that an A minor 7. Or you can even take the pinky and kind of add it in on the high E string on the third fret. And through our intro, you actually, you'll kind of hear the, this cool little rhythm where you could do kind of like a down, down, and then a down, and then kind of lift the A, the a minor off the strings to kind of get the open strings. Kind of down, down. on that. Although you could kind of do repeated downs and kind of get an 8 down count to kind of work. Or one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 four four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you have a minor down, up, up, down, up. on this you could do a variation of that of kind of down 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 up down it could be kind of a cool way to work it to kind of match that bass line too and there's this cool little bass line through that part where you kind of hear the open a From there we hit our, our main verse part, which starts on that A minor, we do that twice, and then we go to a D major chord, and we play D major. First finger goes to the G string on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the high E 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the B string on the 3rd fret, and if you show them the D string of the high E string, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also want to kind of lift off the 2nd finger and make that a D suspended 2nd, or you could add the pinky in on the high E 3rd and make that a D sus and kind of say some things around D chords. And you may want to kind of work that D that same way, actually. You can work the down idea, or that down, 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 and then lift. Down, 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 lift. Down, 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 lift. Or the down, down, up, up, down, up, when you get back to work. For our verse, that way, you'd have the A minor. we end up with kind of a really similar idea around the D, where you could kind of do the D string three times, and then go to third on the A. So kind of D, 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 C, D, 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 C. So you may want to kind of play around with kind of adding in that lick too. Times, then we kind of end up with kind of an extra two A minor, which is kind of a waiting idea to go into our second verse. And then we kind of have the A minor. First, we start on kind of the A minor idea, and then you may want to do a stop on the A minor, and then you'll kind of hear this cool little bass line where you go oath, open A, third on the A, open A, third on the A, to kind of lead into a D chord, and then we can almost cut kind of work that lick backwards, kind of that two on the D, open D, third on the A, and then open A twice, and then you may want to kind of accent that with an A minor. And then we go back to that O3, O3, and then the D chord. 
and then at the very end you may want to play open D and then third on the A open D to go to second fret on the D for kind of an E major chord we play E major first finger goes to the G on the first fret second finger on the A string second fret and third finger on the D string on the second fret and if you strum all those together it sounds an E major chord and it sounds really happy now you may also want to think about lifting off the third finger and making that an E7 chord or you could add the pinky in on the B string and kind of get that E7 a little bit more bite. And right on that E, we almost end up with kind of a big down, and then we kind of pick it back up on kind of some E accents at the end of our chorus. So all the way through the chorus, you got kind of the A minor, and then kind of the A minor, hit, and then the lick, and then do a D chord, and then next lick, and then A minor hit, over three, over three, D hit. So you got that A minor, O three O three D chord, two O three O A minor chord, O three O three D chord, D C D E chord, and then an E E E E. From there, that we end up with kind of like an intro return, kind of back on our A minor chords. Now you may also want to think about adding basses to these strum patterns. And on the A major, A minor chord, you have the A for the bass. On the D, you'd have the D string for the bass. And on the E major, you'd have the low E string for the bass. So we kind of added basses to our, to our next verse. You'd have the A minor, A minor, D, 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 A minor, A minor, A minor, A chorus. We go back to our A minor, and then lick A chord, and then lick A minor, and then our lick into the D, and then our lick into the E, and then the E push, and then from there in the Paul Revere version, we end up going into a bridge part where we kind of do our A minor, and our A minor, almost like an intro return, kind of a big stomp on the A minor. And you hear this cool little melody come out where you play first fret on the B, and the open B, and then second on the G, into a kind of an E major. You maybe want to kind of work that around your A minor. And then we kind of pick it back up on our A minor. Version, Revere version, you'll kind of hear it where they change that A minor into kind of through this cool organ thing uh, into an A major chord where you would do the first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, and third finger on the B second. And make a big major chord at the very end, kind of working a Picardy third, <laughs> kind of between the A minor and the, and the A major. So you may want to throw that in too. And again, if you want to play along with the Raiders version, you capo on four, and along with on Farden, you capo with uh, third fret. So good luck!